have questions, I just let them talk. Um, I do remember at one point looking at Amanda and asking her, well, how about when you had your daughter? Didn't you go to the hospital? And she said, oh no, she said I had my daughter here at the house. And um, she said Michelle delivered her for me. And, and, and I was just dumbfounded, I couldn't believe that. And they said, yeah, we put a big plastic pool underneath her to help with the cleanup so it wouldn't make such a mess. Um, I remember Michelle saying, yeah, he told me if that baby died, he was gonna kill me. Um, did you learn of any other pregnancies that occurred in the house? I, I did ask if anybody else had ever been pregnant, and Michelle said, oh, I was. And she said, I was several times, um, and every time he found out I was pregnant, he'd starve me, and he'd punch me in the stomach, and Gina at that point was saying, yeah, he'd starve her for at least two weeks, and he might give her a Pepsi once, once in a while, and then he'd hit, he'd hit her, just till she lost the baby. Uh, find a predator that they're trying to make me look a master. I'm not a master. I'm a normal person. I am just sick chance to hear for the first time radio transmissions from the police as they were approaching the house and investigating and here is the moment it's very short just a few seconds here's the moment they knew they had found the women inside that house listen we found them we found them we got a female we got a young child with Any kind of law should be enforced when it comes to abductions? Yes. The community does enough for abduction cases or missing children? No. Well, not, not in uh, as a person of color in the black community. We don't hear about a lot of like African American or Latino children that are taken. You hear more about like Caucasian children. 10 to 15 years, that is the sentence that's been given to the Michigan father, believed to be responsible for the disappearance of his three young sons. Today in court, John Skelton said that he thinks about those boys every single day. But as Fox Toledo, Sharia Davis reports, he still believes he did nothing wrong. Yeah, in a statement to the judge, Skelton basically said if he had to do it all over again, he wouldn't change a thing. Investigators believe Skelton murdered his sons and hid their bodies, and so does the prosecutors of this case. I had to go to counseling to deal with the fact that I gave them to the person who took them from us. As the months go by, hope for a reunion dims, but faith runs deep in this family. Andrew came to me in a dream. He didn't come to me in an image. He crawled up on my lap like he always does. His arm was around my shoulders and he said, we've been staying with Uncle Bob. It bothered me when I dreamt it, but I woke up and wrote it in my journal. Uncle Bob is my brother who was killed five years ago, August. Hilton is inspirational in her strength. She hasn't given up hope in finding her sons, and she knows this case could be open a very long time. I will never give up until we have 100% proof one way or the other. Tanya Skelton, the mother of Alexander, Tanner, and Andrew, draws her strength from the good times with her boys, their smiling faces, their laughter, and she knows because of her faith, they will be found. In my heart, I still firmly believe that they are out there alive somewhere. Ari, have you heard about any missing children in the news lately? Uh, a couple times uh, when I'm in the library, I, the, some new story pops up every day about a missing child or person. Do you know any particular, like, any names? I never really kept, you know, I never really, I paid much attention to the names that happened, though. Okay. Do you believe that there should be stricter laws enforced with um, abductions? Yes, I, I do, like... When it comes down to, to it, I think people like who are willing to do this should have their whole life in prison because of what they've done. Mm -hmm. Parents' nightmare, Vanessa, and obviously we're just desperate to try and get your son back. Do you believe in your heart after all this time that he's still alive? Yes, I do. What What do you think has happened to him? What do you f What do you feel in your gut? I feel that someone has him. First of all. 
I just know we all want to extend our deepest sympathies, Vanessa, on the loss of your son, Avante. I know he was the youngest of five sons. Tell us a little bit about him, if you could. Oh, Avante was just a ball of sunshine, you know, smiling all the time, energetic, just like a regular 14-year-old. There's, there's always going to be people who try to do this stuff, and, 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 we try to, and there's people that are trying to do as much as they can, but it, it's all a matter of just trying to keep up, and I, I'd hate to say it, but I don't know if this will, will ever be solved permanently.